In the Teva Onsno bike crit, a one kilometer course is set on the lower portion of Vale Mountain. And the race is on to see which rider can do the most laps around it in 35 minutes, plus the time it takes them to finish their last lap. Last lap, racers, last lap. In the snow bike competition, the riders' bikes have thicker tires and a wider frame than standard mountain bikes. It was a lot harder than I thought. These things are so heavy, you're just like barely turning over, trying to keep it straight. Like your whole body's like too much fun. Sliding around in the snow, it's always fun. I haven't been at altitude for a while, so breathing really hard. To have a dual slalom bike race, the athletes tread a thin line between excellence and disaster. In the women's competition, the course on Golden Peak amasses a trail of carnage, but it's a smashing success with the ladies. It was awesome, like so much fun. I raced dual slalom all the time and I've never done anything like this. It was just incredible. Wendy Palmer, who resides in the mountain biking mecca of Moab, Utah, wins the inaugural event. The course was extremely difficult. It was super fun though. It was a really, really fun time and it was wild. Now it's time to crown the king of the mountain. The funny thing about dual slalom is that it's kind of a level playing field. We have a lot of local downhill bikers here but you just never know when you're racing down the ski slopes. The top 16 qualifiers race head to head in the elimination bracket. Fast. Well, kind of fast, as fast as you can be in the snow. Kyle Ebbett tested tires and studs for two months on ice in his backyard in Vermont. His preparation pays off in vain. It got really good at the end. I just had to stay smooth on that. Don't get ahead of myself. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs>